Hello everyone, Phil here, and welcome to something very special. Today is actually my birthday. It is April 6, 2024. I just turned 42 years old, and I'm doing a special marathon here with my viewers on my channel, DSP Gaming, but we have an interesting idea that we wanted to do today. As you know, on this channel, DSP Throwback, which is probably where you're watching this on demand, I have been reacting to old playthroughs of mine recently, okay? Now, the idea came up, hey, why not do a special event during the, the birthday, if people want to see it during this marathon, where I can react to my most viewed videos of all time on YouTube. I composed a playlist of 29 videos that range anywhere from, as you can see, 3.2 million views, all the way down to, yeah, like 300,000, something like that. Uh, so it's a big range, obviously, but when I've been around as long as I have, you know, over 15 years, the videos that I put out, some of them have accumulated a lot of views. Now here's the weird part. A lot of the videos we're about to watch, okay, are videos that were very, very popular back on my old YouTube channels at one period of time. And then all of a sudden, they completely stopped getting views. And if you wanna know the reason, you're gonna see a pattern with these videos. Most of these videos are short form, 10 to 15 minute long gameplay videos. At one point, YouTube heavily favored this style of content and allowed me to get prominence on YouTube 15 plus years ago as a gamer. But what YouTube did around the year of 2012, 2013, they changed their algorithms. And when they did this, YouTube then started favoring all longer videos. Like basically the longer the video, the more prominent the video would be in YouTube search. Does that make any sense? No, but they made this change to their algorithm. So all of my short form content of 15 minute video clips literally disappeared. For example, every month back then, some of these videos like this one right here, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions Part 1, my most viewed video of all time, even on a month that had <clears throat> nothing going on with Spider-Man, absolutely nothing to do with any new game like this, this video would receive somewhere between 10 to 50,000 views a month just by existing on YouTube because the algorithm favored it. If people would type in, search for Spider-Man gameplay, Spider-Man, you know, this was one of the top viewed videos of all time of any Spider-Man game. So always it would show in the search and people would check it out. Then they they did that little switch, that little you know change behind the scenes. They didn't tell anyone, by the way, because this is how YouTube operates. They make these algorithm switches and changes. The favoritism kind of shifts and then you don't know. So all of a sudden I went from getting tons of views on this video every month to zero views. It, was, it didn't even go down to like, oh, maybe he gets a few hundred. Zero because these old videos do not regularly show up in search. YouTube basically screwed it over, screw over my business, you know? They did over time. This is one of the major reasons why my channel went into a big decline and I had to become a full-time streamer. But you know, that's water under the bridge at this point. Here I am, you know, still seven years later after that change really affected me and I'm, I'm still good, you know? Here I am in 2024. I still maintain a great business and a great living. So I'm not complaining. It's just weird that they make these decisions behind the scenes. Because you might say, well, when did all these views come in? 3.2 million views. Oh, that they came in within like five, six years. And then they just went to zero. Like no one finds this video in search anymore. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an intro. All right. So today, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start watching some of my biggest, most viewed videos on YouTube of all time. If you actually take a look at these, they do have more prominence than the negative stuff. However, the sad fact is no one can find them anymore, right? You would think, hey, if I search for DSP or Dark Side Phil on YouTube, it should give me his most viewed video. No, it'll give you negative toxic stuff that's long form because that's what's favored by the YouTube algorithm now. Pretty sad. All right, let's do it. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions playthrough part one. Interestingly enough, this is not the first Spider-Man game that I ever played on YouTube. As you can see, this is from my DSP gaming channel, which is my second gaming channel. My first original channel was Dark Side Phil, and that channel ran from 2008 when I began on YouTube all the way through early 2010. The only reason I stopped using it is because I started getting false copyright strikes against it <clears throat> for playthroughs such as Grand Theft Auto's DLC, The Lost and Damned, and also uh, uh, Splinter Cell... Chaos Theory? I can't remember which game it was, but it was a Splinter Cell game. So when I started getting hit with these false strikes, I was like, you know what? I think what I want to do is start a new channel, start fresh. And I did. And so I've been on DSP Gaming 
ever since around April of 2010, which would basically make this my 14 year anniversary now being on DSP Gaming. Now, the interesting thing about this is, um, <clears throat> it's part one of a playthrough, and for the longest time, again, people who would search for Spider-Man on YouTube for a game would always get my playthrough. And now it's not visible anymore. Like, no one can find it unless you know exactly what video you're looking for. Um, but here we go. Why is this the most viewed video of all time? I, I don't know. I don't know why particularly this one video resonated with so many and became my most viewed video. Maybe you guys would be able to judge. Now, keep in mind, we're about to watch. I just have to preface this like I do with all my retro reacts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a video representative of a different time. As you can see, it's over 13 years old. Back then, the commentary on YouTube was very different. I was doing commentary for a crowd that was much younger than me. You know, I was in my late 20s, and these were people who were in their teens, and that's what they wanted to see. They wanted to see risque, over-the-top, edgy, edgelord-style commentary. Sexual references, race references, they loved it. They ate it up. That's how I got prominence back in the day on YouTube. Today, I'm a much different person, okay? I don't do this kind of commentary anymore, but you very well may see or in here, some things that you're like, whoa, can't believe he said that. Can't believe he, he, you know, and this was my most popular videos ever, right? So everyone liked it back in the day, all right? Here we go. Without further ado, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions playthrough part one. And for those here live, please let me know if the volume's good or if I need to adjust it. All right, here we go. This is a highly anticipated game for me anyway, being the first Spider-Man game I've played in, in about two years now. And, uh... I really enjoyed Web of Shadows two years ago. And By the way, this was before the Amazing Spider-Man movies. This was before the, the modern MCU. So this was basically the only movie Spider-Man at this point was Tobey Maguire. And Web of Shadows had been a pretty decent hit for Marvel. So they made this next game to try to follow up on it. And I believe this one did even better. It ended up being one of my most highly viewed uh, video series of all time. And it really launched my YouTube channel um, to the masses when the videos... Went Are you all, guys all agreeing that the volume is too low in the video? You want me to make it louder? If that's the case, I'll boost it. Because now I'm getting conflicting. Two people are saying different things. One person says it's too loud. One people says it's too low. Well, until I get a, a consensus, I'm not going to change it. Viral, so I am really looking forward to this. Hopefully it will be just as good. Activision did a good job last time. And now, of course, the well-known Beanox, who... Who the fuck is Beanox? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Beanox. All right, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Press start. It says, press start, motherfucker. Yes, bootleg. This is... Not, this is, uh... You know, I think this is around 2010. It's either 2009 or 2010. No, it had to be 2010. It's DSP Gaming. So this is me pointing a camera at a television in my condo in Connecticut on a tripod, sitting on a coffee table in front of me, and me playing the game next to the camera and doing commentary, and that's how it's picking up my voice. That's why the, the, the visuals are as they are. When this icon appears, panic! It means it's a red ring and your console's dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aha! And the music's great. Oh, check this out. It's going between the different dimensions. This is awesome. A different Spider-Man. You got regular Spider-Man. You got Ultimate Spider-Man. Wow, this looks dope. Is that what Ultimate Spider-Man? I didn't even know that. You got Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, that's 2099 from the future. The techno do, suit. Do, 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 do. And Spider-Man Noir. Noir at this All time right, was like a game. new character. I don't even remember him being around. And then later on, he became a real character logo. in the Marvel Universe. Well, we're going to pump up the brightness a little bit, I think. September 7, 2010. Eric is saying this like came this. out. Yeah. To adjust it later, we'll adjust it. Start it like that. Looks good, right? Did you know the powers of cosmic Spider Man come from the Enigma Force? The Enigma Force is a physical manifestation of the Unipower, which imbues its host with hey awesome there, true believers. Watch as once Stan Lee. Look at Stan Lee. Forces are at work in our world. <laughs> Rest in peace, the late great Stan Lee. Awesome that he used to do things for the games as well as the movies. To wreak havoc with our very existence. They actually have the real Stan Lee to narrate. Prowls the halls of Empire State University after dark. None other than the master of illusion himself. Mysterio. Sing Mysterio. The Mexican luchador, Rey Mysterio. <laughs> of order and chaos. Selling you on the black market is going to make me a 
me. Good, you can do some of this. I can smell your breath from here. <laughs> Spider-Man! Wait, how would you eat a mint through that fishbowl? Spider-Man! Here, have a stink bomb! Oh! Nice! Don't get me wrong, your illusions are nifty. But if you ask me, they could use a little more kick. Whoa. Uh -huh. Souvenirs are available. Cheesy, all, all freaking Spider Man cheesy puns, right? That's how Spider Man was in the comics back in the day. But why did Mysterio think that a illusion of a snake would stop Spider Man? Spider Man already knows he has illusions and it's not real. Right? Stop it! Seat your incessant prattling! Whoa! Kind of Fucking Scud missile off the hand. What the hell? <laughs> so why did Mysterio have that? Hey, bubble head. Think fast. Slingshot. He just broke a priceless Exactly. Artifact. What an asshole. He struck, he struck the thing. I mean, that'd be awful if he really oh, broke it. $10 billion. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay. Can somebody tell me what's going on here? You're going to jail, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You are needed. Madam Web? What the hell? As if this night wasn't strange enough already. Look, it's it's Madam Web before the character was completely ruined by an awful Marvel movie that was pushing a certain agenda, if you know what I'm saying. This is the actual real Madam Web, which I don't know why they didn't make the movie about this. Why did they have to change the characters and everything? I, they're just idiots. But anyway, here we go. The tablet of order and chaos is the most powerful of all the... Who the fuck is that? Spider-Girl? There's all kinds of Spider-Man. Shattered it. Yeah, sorry about that. Guess they don't make tablets like they used to, huh? The You're fired! Fragmented across other dimensions. Dimensions that are strange reflections of our own. A past unlike ours. A present day out of sync. And a distant future which may or may not. And a future whose lifestyle is not in agreement with the Christian theology. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Pig! <laughs> Yours and the help of these three other Spider-Men. The heroes into whose realities the tablet fragments fell. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Other realities? Other me's? Yes, I have explained our dire situation to them. They will be your allies in this. Why'd you go to them first? I'm the most charming, right? You must gather all the pieces of the tablet before they fall into. Look at my rack. I'm still or able to I keep them nice and perky, even though I'm five billion years old. Destroyed. Yeah, uh, right. There is the commentary. <laughs> Madam Webb, where'd you get that stylish version of Jordy's visor from? <laughs> so, an nonsensical plot right off the bat, but that's pretty good. Whatever. Let's get started. These neighborhoods are going to friendly themselves. That's right. Follow my instructions. I didn't even notice that there's kind of cell shading in the game. I just noticed that now. Who am I to refuse a lovely lady? Lead on, MW. All right. You will need to reach that Whoa. edge to begin. Yeah, it is Damn, cell shaded. Just as fast as he oh, did in the last I don't even game. remember so that. It's hard to control you so fucking fast. <laughs> I'm a crazy guy in my underpants. You will need to get higher than that. Woo! It, cloak on it, it, it looks like he's, he's the cloak. fucking... He's the greased up deaf guy from Family Guy. <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> don't even try. Why can't I get you up there? Get higher than that. Oh, it's a double jump. Oh, you can double jump. Your unique adhesive abilities. Uh, I believe the technical term is stick'em powers. Stick'em powers? Stick'em, that's what he called it? Stick'em powers? Yep, I'm crawling up a wall. Uh huh. I think what it, what it is, it, isn't it, um, they act like he's really like a spider. So he has like micro hairs that come out of his hands that stick into the wall, which is what a spider does too. Like a spider has these tiny barbs that come out of it and stick into a wall that allow it to hold on to things, right? And I think that's what he has too. How do I run? Can I do it fast? Huh. I am augmenting your spider sense. Now, instead of just detecting danger, okay. you have the added abilities of seeing through objects, really? locating enemies, and discerning structural weaknesses. What the hell? Cool. Spider sense activated. Better spider sense now because Madam Web showed up. 
Press up to activate the spider sense. With the spider sense, Spider-Man can see enemies and, inter and in interactive objects through walls and reveal enemy state of health. Pretty similar to Detective Vision in the Batman Arkham series. <laughs> Although I think, I believe Arkham Asylum came out before this. It did. Because this is late 2010. I think Arkham Asylum was either earlier that year or 2009, if I remember correctly. So yeah, same concept, I think. Really, Uwojo says, this is actually the game that got me into watching you. Have a happy birthday, DSP. Thank you, Uwojo. Yeah, I mean, this is the video that most people have seen of me. 3.2 million views. It's my most viewed video ever. So by far, this is the video that most people saw and were, oh, this is funny. I'm going to watch DSP more. Breaking and entering. Oh! What about this? Made it my most viewed video. Nothing seems extra special, says Don Fanucci. You tell me. Again, it's the algorithm. What I think it is, I played this on day one. I had a playthrough up right away. It was a hot commodity at the time to have videos up of a hot new game on day one as soon as possible, right? No one got early advanced copies. Like there were no content creators or ambassadors or paid people who got the games early and could stream them or play them early. So day one, you would go to YouTube to see the game. And I had my video up right away. <clears throat> Decent quality, certainly not amazing, but not awful either. Interesting commentary, right? My commentary is kind of all over the place with jokes. So that's what I mean. And it just, boom, it would blow up. And keep in mind, Spider-Man, a very popular character from Marvel. People would search YouTube all the time for Spider-Man, Spider-Man video game, and this would come up. And then they changed it in 2013 and it disappeared from YouTube and no one watched this video ever again. If YouTube hadn't changed the algorithm, this would be a 10 million video, a 10 million view video by far. But they changed the algorithm. So now no one can find this. Pretty messed up. Hey, look what I found. A room. Excellent work. A job well begun is half done. Now to another Spider-Man. And to bestow a different gift upon him. What? A job well begun is half done? Suit. No, it's not. What am I doing in the black suit? I, I hate this thing. Uh. Stay calm, young Peter. Stay this calm, bitch. Shut your face. abilities you will need in your quest. Like what? Trying to take over my body? I said stay calm. <laughs> my psychic powers will keep it from overwhelming you. Yeah. Well, I hope you can do something. Now let's retrieve the next fragment. Spitzbot. Did you just say Spitzbot? First, with Spitzbot. your ability to web zip, you can travel quickly from perch point to perch point. Try it now. Web zip. To web zip. Spider Man can web zip to specific perch points. That's what she said. Perch points in the environments. An in range perch point looks like that. Occasionally, in order to reach distant perch points, you will have to jump towards them and web zip in mid air. Does he have real webs here? No. He's and using the suit. So the suit is shooting like the symbiote as a uh, web. It's not a real web. Huh. They're called stick em powers. Did one of the other knees make that joke already? Yes, and it was no funnier then. Such. The fragment is at the end of the corridor. Can you swing across to it? Can I? Lady, it's my trademark. You heard the voice actor change because a different Spider-Man. Spider almost anywhere. Hold right trigger to web swing. Press A while swinging for a speed boost. Hold A any time to perform a web jump. <laughs> I gotta admit, the suit does seem fairly under control. I feel stronger, faster. This will work out after all. Fingers crossed. Ah, you zip to those. I see. Pretty interesting gameplay. Keep in mind, this is linear. This is not an open world Spider-Man game. The games back then, a lot. Some of them were, some of them were. But this one, I believe, was a, the first of a series of two to three linear Spider-Man games. There was this, and there was um, it was Edge of simple. Time. Pretty I think. simple. Turn my consciousness to the future and to this asshole and this fucking SM outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel O'Hanna, Spider Man of the year 2099. Holy shit. Ready to save the universe and looking good while doing Another it. Another different oh, voice actor. The next fragment is close. Just ahead, in fact. I'm on. Gotta watch out, though. This area is property of the Alchemax Corporation, and that means the public eye will be everywhere. Oh yeah, was it the stealth? He was the stealth guy, right? Public eye. <laughs> now what? A who? The police force owned by Alchemax, and I'm not sure which is more corrupt. Oh boy. You heard the amazing Spider-Man? Well, I'm the fabulous Spider-Man. Oh yeah. 
Spider-Man of the future. What is this? For a better life, it's an android. What does it say? Shemax. So it's a female love doll. There's the black cat over on that wall for some reason. I guess she's popular in the future. Alchemax, Alchemax. Oh shit, there's Wolverine down there. Oh yeah, yeah that's look. pretty cool. It's like all the, the 90s Spider-Man and, and Marvel Fabulous. characters are like characters in the future to be like marketed, right? Although I don't know what that robot thing is for a better life. Alchemax. Oh, it must be their, their mascot or something. We'll try to stop you from collecting fragments. You must defeat them in combat. Tell me about it. I tried to defeat him in cards once. Go so good. Wow, your jokes are horrible. Easy. Try a light attack. A spider attack! Yeah. Have something stronger. Keep the battle tips coming, lady. It's like having Sun Tzu as a life coach. Sun Tzu. Yeah, the freaking, his oh, jokes are boy. awful. Oh, right? Seriously, the writing is terrible for this character. There's an air launcher. You can probably even knock enemies into the air. Sure can. See? I too many missed. You must never miss an opportunity to subdue an enemy. Oh, it's a new air combo air. after. Time okay. To him while he's airborne. All right. Perform a combo. Now this is just over. You must perform a combo. Wait, what? Uh, an interdimensional godlike being comes to Spider-Man and says, Launch your enemies and perform an aerial combo. What? <laughs> okay, thanks, Madam Web. Grab your enemy. B. You know, maybe they should get out as a group instead of one at a time. That might be a good idea. I mean to make him disappear. What the hell? I have saved him from peril and transported him to safety. Uh. Thanks to a dimensional rift caused by the tablet. But please, try not to be so cavalier next time. Ah. You know you got my back. Guess I'll just worry about my friend. Here come the last... Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness. So yeah, once again... Don Fanucci says, I cannot believe this is your most viewed video on YouTube. It's it's a commonplace video, right? Is there anything really that stands out about this video that you would think this is my most viewed video on YouTube of all time? Honestly, I agree. I don't think so. It's just a standard part one tutorial of an older game, Right? I'm not too crazy with the commentary. The gameplay is fine. There's nothing too crazy about it. Like I said, I think it's just that at the time, Spider-Man was incredibly popular. People were looking for Spider-Man content on YouTube. Having the day one coverage of the new video game, boom. It got giant spikes of, of uh, views. And again, the way the algorithm worked back then is if your video had a lot of views and people searched for a topic, your video would pop up. So people... Five years later, we're searching for the latest Spider-Man game. They would go Spider-Man video game. And if they didn't know the name of the game they were looking for, let's just say they were thinking for Amazing Spider-Man. They didn't know that. So they say, oh, Spider-Man video game. It would give them this because this is one of the most viewed videos on YouTube of any Spider-Man video game at the time. So I would get hundreds of thousands of views based off of that, that kind of related video fact, right? And that's all it is. It's the, the popularity of the character. Because where do you see the next few? You're, you're going to start to see a pattern. In fact, have we seen enough of this video? Would you go, like to go to the next one? Here's the next video. This is my second most viewed video of all time. All right, so let's try, let's try it again, and then we'll try some of the other modes, too. Get out of here, Cash. Do your worst. So this is my second most viewed video of all time. If you want to know what it is, if my button will work, it is Batman Arkham Asylum HD. So that I said HD because back then a lot of people were putting out videos in standard definition, but technically this camera was HD, although ahem, it was very blurry and didn't look very HD. Um, so when Arkham Asylum came out, so this is another year before. This is on my original Dark Side Filt channel. This is the channel before DSP Gaming, my original one, okay? This mode was exclusive if you bought... A particular version of the game and I can't remember if it was you had to pre-order it somewhere or you had to buy like the PlayStation version there was some factor that you got a DLC for the game that featured the Joker the only way you could play as the Joker is in this challenge mode you could not use him in the regular game but people freaked out like you could play as the Joker and they wanted to see gameplay of it and, and know how again some people bought the game thinking he was in all versions and he wasn't so they were upset they didn't get him so they ran to YouTube to see people use the Joker and it's funny because this video, as you can see, 3.2 million views, it's part two. It doesn't even say Joker in the title, right? 
it's weird that people somehow figured out that this was Joker gameplay and found the video regardless. Um, and it hit the algorithm in the way that it just kept showing up as a, you know, a suggested video for a lot of people who were looking for Batman or Batman Arkham Asylum, uh, and they wanted to see the Joker. So that's why. Um, but it's weird. So you see the pattern out, Spider-Man, the Joker, is comic book video games. Comic book video games were all the rage back then, and people wanted to watch them on YouTube. So let's see a little bit of this. Is there anything notable about this video? That it would be my second most viewed video of all time. As you can see, unlike Batman, he's not taking you down with physical attacks. He's spraying his, uh, his, uh, you know, gas to knock them out and doing kind of, like, silly things to knock out the guards, right? <laughs> Whose cell was this? Not Killer Croc, he's in the sewers. I wonder who cell this was. It was explained in the story, because this is one of the optional huh. things you do as Batman. You look at that cell, but I can't remember who it was. Yeah, he's got x-ray goggles he puts on. See, he doesn't have detective vision. He has x-ray specs he puts on as a gag, see? It's kind of funny. They took all Batman's abilities and gave them to Joker and kind of tried to explain away why he has them. <laughs> the music's also completely different, right? <laughs> I can walk. Walks the it's a strut, a strut through. It's neat that he's in there. It's a shame that you don't actually play as him in the real game, though. It's only this challenge mode. It makes it frivolous. Like there's no point to doing this besides I want to play as the Joker. You, know, you don't get anything in the game for really doing it or anything. No longer over there. Joker walks like he's about to go tattletale on someone and you just can't wait. <laughs> That's a good one, Jack Jack. Here we go, look at this! Look up! <laughs> he takes you out by boxing you on the head. <laughs> right. He's about to crack an egg. Fuck, if I took that guy out, the other guy would have saw me. That's why I didn't do it. All four of them are right there. And I don't think he can zip line. Like, like unlike Batman, he can't like zip line up right to one of the no perches. He doesn't have that ability. He's all ground based, I think. All right. So once again, we're three minutes into this video. Can anyone figure out why this is my second most viewed video of all time? It's it's the algorithm. The algorithm back then it would push things to the front, and in this case, people wanted to see Joker in this game. So this video, people saw, you know, he's on the thumbnail, it's imposing or whatever. And so people would be searching for Arkham Asylum Joker. And then this video, boom. Oh, there he is, there's the Joker, he's using him. I wanna see it. Here's eight straight minutes of Joker gameplay that I can't get for some reason. And then they would watch it and we get tons of views and it would go viral, you know? So it's, it's nuts, like, is there a particular reason why I don't see it, right? It's just, that's how YouTube used to be. It used to be latch on, especially comic book characters and games for sure. That's correct. OID says there was less saturation back then. Again, I was one of the few people who would be playing full games within the days that it came out. This, In this case, I took time off of work. I actually have vacation oh, days I used out, to stay balls. home and play Arkham Asylum when it came out as a new game, and I beat it within three days. And no one else did that, so my playthrough was one of the very the first Joker full playthroughs of the game the on the internet. And then I did this challenge mode gameplay, and Free people life. wanted to see Joker. So it was like the first time people ever saw the Joker in the game. Right now, everyone plays every game early. They're all the, the, the full playthroughs are out bullshit. before the game can even be purchased. At least right? Streams are out before on, the game man. can be purchased. So it's all different now. Everything's changed. Uh, can't run down this. For the worse, honestly, it's not better. It's worse now, for sure. No, because here's the thing. Fuck. You hear me playing this, right? You, you hear me? I'm doing commentary. I'm being honest. Today, if this came out, this video would come out two weeks before the game came out. It would be someone who's a paid shill, who literally is getting paid to play the game, 
and making tons of money on a fucking stream and they'd be like yo this is the best thing ever i get to play as the joker i can't believe it this is so awesome and innovative and look at this and that and it's a trade advertisement it's trash you know this is genuine content of a genuine opinion that i have versus people who are just going to be there just to kiss butt and that's all it is today all these people are just kissing butt to make money it's sad man He walks up, getting shot at. Oh, I don't care. He's got a gun, and he's dead. One shot. Oh my god, I got owned. <laughs> but I enjoy teaching you some manners, Joker. Get it back to this cell. Damn it! All right, let's try another one. Let's see what the other ones are. All right. So I mean, that's it. That's that's it. I mean, he's gonna do just another map with Joker there. But again. Sith, Sith is wrong. He says the algorithm hasn't really changed. It's just the biggest YouTubers get everything early. As much as that's true, the algorithm has changed. Like I said, these older videos no longer show up on YouTube search. You can't, unless you specifically look for this video, you would never get it in a related video or a search. It, it doesn't show up. They took all my videos and because they were so short, kicked them completely out of the algorithm. They, they felt like a video under 15, 20 minutes isn't valid, which is ridiculous. What the hell are you talking about? But that's what they did. All my gameplay was shoved under the rug. And that's a YouTube algorithm search. It has nothing to do with people getting early copies or else these videos would still be getting views today and they receive zero views a month. I just gave this video probably its one view for the month, but now maybe some of you will go check it out because I watched it, but it would usually get zero views. For a video that and within a five year span got 3.2 million, then it goes to zero. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's stupid. Anyway, all right, so that is the first two of my most viewed videos of all time. Let's uh, let's split the part here. We'll come back and we'll check out some of the others. As you can see, there is more comic book stuff coming, but there's actually non-comic book stuff coming too. And we'll try to figure this out, all right? Cool. See you in the next part.